penularan baru wabak ini yang dibimbangi akan menjangkiti lebih ramai rakyat. Today the World Organization officially announced that this is a global pandemic. Situasi semasa wabak ini memerlukan tindakan drastik diambil bagi memulihkan keadaan secepat mungkin. Essentially putting the entire country on lockdown. This is the most aggressive and comprehensive effort to confront a foreign virus in modern history. More than 4700 people dying around the world. We introduced the Macintosh. It didn't just change Apple. It changed the whole computer industry. The implanted chip is as big as a grain of rice. The operation costs about 150 euros and it's no more painful. Hey, what's up you guys? Prince Man here. Assalamu alaikum semua orang. How's everybody doing today? Hope you guys are safe at home, you guys. I baru lepas mandi. So, kalau nak keluar atau boleh? Yes. But it's not safe because every time you keluar, you put your life at risk. Kalau boleh tu jangan keluar and just chill at home. Perkembangan ini amat membimbangkan kita semua. Hari ni punya video, um, kita akan cakap pasal what is actually going on. Things that is actually macam happening right now. I don't know if aku berani ke tak nak cakap semua benda ni but it's like why the hell not orang kena tahu benda yang sebenarnya most people semua percaya everything that they hear semua benda that they see behind semua benda tu you guys we have no idea who's in control we have no idea who's in charge is all this even real the year 2020 you guys has not been nice to all of us aku tak suka tahun ni aku boleh benci tahun ni um ada ramai yang meninggal dunia, ada ramai yang sakit. One day could be okay and the next day I am on the floor. You don't know when you're going to drop. Ada banyak benda yang happen this year you guys. It's not a good year lah, you know. You need to unlock your iPhone first. Kau dengar tu. The phone will hear everything you're saying. You know my friend and I were talking about a specific cruise that she went on and just a few minutes later an ad for that specific cruise popped up into my Instagram feed. So it made me wonder if they're not listening, how could that happen? Kita perlukan everything that kita ada hari ini. Perlukan handphone, kita perlukan internet. I can't stop looking at my phone. As the years go by you guys, kita ada phones, kita ada Nokia yang lama gila tu yang buruk tu lepas tu kita ada komputer yang first now i'd like to show you macintosh in person hello i am macintosh the true is great to get out of that bag it keeps on evolving though you guys iphone Ta-da. we are now in the year 2020 and look at kita punya dunia macam mana hari ini Everyone's got their phones up and look I know I've done it too. I'm I'm totally a hypocrite. Everybody is just and even if you're not, you're checking this and checking texts and boy, we got a real addiction problem. Just get this straight for a minute. I'm 18 years old and I've never had a phone and I've been very privileged to live in a beautiful on the beautiful island of Victoria. Technology. We have CCTV. It's get the ada cameras is like everywhere we go kita ada phones mana-mana kita pergi right now you guys anywhere in the world literally mana-mana kita pergi right now i swear to god cameras everywhere you go now everywhere you you pergi right now you guys there will be cameras everywhere thousands of cameras that are all over you're being watched by at least three different cameras now why is that kat mama pun dah ada CCTV lah. It's like you can't run away. It's like it's always there. Do you guys know China? Every CCTV dekat sana you guys. They will know you ni siapa. All you have to do is just lalu dekat depan kamera. Semua benda that you have and semua benda that you stand for you guys, you will have semua benda pasal kau. Macam you bank kat mana? You bank dekat ada kat main bank ke ada kat CIMB ke. The technology can pick you out in a crowd and follow you all in secret without you knowing. That's scary. <laughs> My gift. This is all I get for the next nine minutes. 
and then I come back again. I try to get more. At Funds Gilead, though, it's like a real like next level technology, though, you guys. It's like they will know Unisapu. So already on this bridge, I can see one, two, three CCTV cameras. Of course, there's no point hiding from them. Just keep on walking. Uh oh. Right behind me, you can see uh, just over over my left shoulder there. Hello, guys. That's the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro. Look at that. iPhone yang baru keluar kita kena buy. We have to have it. Why I don't know because of tak kita lemah. I don't know. You want this phone? It's cool and it's nice and it's brand new. You nak tak? Of course kita nak. We always pay for it, you guys. It's like no matter what happens, kita akan always buy. Those long lines are forming. The frenzy does not seem to die down, but that's what Apple is hoping with higher than ever stakes for your smartphone dollar. Like everybody else that's waiting in line, we want we want our phones now. I've never had a phone. Blue on the 12. Oh, I like this blue. Wow, this is like a really like a dark blue. blue. It's a really dark blue. Like, yeah. I like it. Do you guys know that every time we give you your face ID the guy a phone or whatever you guys they immediately know you need a facial recognition you could track everyone potentially all of the time of course kita ada kita punya social media kenapa kita semua cannot stay off kita punya phone always gonna pegang phone are you using your device or is your device using you can you put it down can you turn it off what i'm saying is we have to understand we have to at least ask ourselves around the world wherever you are what is it doing to us it's always on Kalau the computer is on you guys of course the camera is always on the blue button how does my iphone know that's me and how does facebook know that's me and why is Facebook always asking if I want to tag myself in these photos? They orang suka target semua yang muda-muda. Ah target semua budak-budak, daripada budak-budak sampai yang adults. Yang tua pun you guys, eventually they orang akan belajar juga. I want you to take out your cameras now on your phones and point them at me. According to a new study, just having your smartphone nearby, even if it's turned off, could affect your performance. It's every one. Uh, Facebook, it's Microsoft, it's a very large amount of tech corporations essentially being spied on and surveilled on a massive scale without their consent or knowledge. We listen to what's going on on your microphone and use that for ads. An ad for that specific cruise popped up into my Instagram feed. We don't do that. You guys saw the, the flashing red light up there? Wait, oh my god. Wait, do you see that? What is that? Is someone recording me? Wait, on camera, you see that like blinking thing? I don't see that in person at all. And when I look at it with my bare eyes, I, I couldn't see anything, so... We don't do that. Until you guys ada orang yang macam ni. You boleh ambil gambar siapa-siapa. You post gambar tu dekat sana, you guys. You boleh know dia punya full name. Macam you keluar, ambil gambar siapa-siapa. And then you you letak kat sana you guys It's like You boleh know dia punya full name You boleh know everything that they stand for Semua Benda pasal dia Here's a picture of me from like 10 years ago It found me So <laughs> Here's me, here's me It actually recognizes my face And look, look This is from like 10 years ago Because we did okay guys. I think it's so beautiful there. Sapa sapa yang tinggal dekat sana you guys. You can microchip. Microchips implanted in human bodies could transform the way we deal with everyday tasks. You dah tak payah bawa 
kunci rumah, kunci kereta, you dah tak payah nak bawa you punya kad. Microchip implants use the same technology that's in contactless credit cards. You punya wallet. Embedded in his hand is a microchip that serves as his keys, his ID and his wallet. Everything about you akan ada dekat dalam satu microchip ni tau. So what I need to do is I need to first blip my chip and it will log me in and from there I get access to the friend. Lepas tu yang microchip tu you guys akan dimasukkan dekat dalam you punya left hand. Kau rasa right pun boleh ke? The future that it would carry your medical records, mm -hmm. that it could track your fitness, that it could that you could buy your groceries with it. Right, like an Apple Pay or something. Mm -hmm. I'm all in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm skeptical. I'm scared of becoming a cyborg, but if you guys go first, scan you punya hand. Biasanya dia pergi letak kat dalam aku kucing ke kan. You boleh see, oh aku punya kucing ada dekat sini. Aku kena pergi ambil kucing aku. Ini you guys, dia buat dekat kita. Dia buat dekat manusia. You nak masuk dekat dalam you punya car, you scan. Masuk dekat dalam you punya rumah, you scan. Dia besar macam beras kot. But it's in your hand sampai bila-bila. So you're now a cyborg. <laughs> Welcome. Not too painful. Yeah, that's fine. So, bila you kata dunia akhir zaman, you guys. The future. That it would carry your medical records. That it could track your fitness. That it could, that you could buy your groceries with it. Microchips implanted in human bodies could transform the way we deal with everyday tasks. Allah dah buat kau perfect macam ni lepas tu kau main kucip dengan kau I don't I don't I don't I don't know how to say things like you know if you are not in Sweden you guys you punya face ID you guys on your phone ke they immediately they know you dah siapa dah kita punya dunia hari ni you guys it's like hari-hari orang orang sakit orang meninggal orang tak bekerja when you get the call that you've been laid off you know I mean that's difficult uh, you start to question What's your future going to be? What, what are you going to do next? Today I'm moving out of Boston because I can't afford to live here. Both my incomes have been taken away from me. Tak ada duit nak bayar rumah ke, nak bayar sewa rumah ke, nak beli makanan ke, you guys. It's like, now orang have no money langsung. Memang all over the world, literally, all over the world you guys in Malaysia Malaysia punya situation right now orang yang tak bekerja semua kan you guys it's 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 so sad tempoh perintah kawalan pergerakan ini ada dalam kalangan kita yang kita tak nampak mereka ini menghadapi kesukaran ada yang telah pun uh, tidak punya bekalan makanan yang cukup ada yang rasa diri ni uh, apa, tidak berguna disebabkan tidak dapat membawa makanan kepada keluarga dan sebagainya ada dalam kalangan kita yang kehilangan kerja It's not how it used to be tetapi they masih boleh keluarkan iPhone yang paling mahal iPhone yang paling latest yang paling baru pada masa-masa yang macam ni guys dia orang actually release the brand new phone Hi, I'm Elizabeth Hi, I'm Elizabeth Likewise. What's going to happen is robots will be able to do everything better than us. I'm, I'm putting, I mean all of us. Ada satu robot ni guys. And dia dia memang halus, sangat sangat halus, and it's very very small. Nipis gila. I when I say nipis gila, you guys, I mean nipis gila macam satu helai kita punya rambut it's that kind of nipis tau you guys uh, so diorang say that benda ni macam dia boleh buang penyakit semua yang kotor-kotor semua yang kuman ke ke whatever semua you guys from you punya human system thing is you guys benda ni masuk dekat dalam you what is this? Uh, this is a, a, a molecular machine that walks around in your cells right now it's called the kinesin and what happened to this robot you guys nano robots most people say to salah satu cara untuk they to put this dekat dalam kau so you're now a cyborg <laughs> welcome ni memang salah satu of their ways untuk masukkan ni on the goal of implanting chips into human brains and also connecting brains to computers it requires the use of a special robot but Musk said it's a minimally invasive surgery Masa-masa yang macam ni kan you guys kita sentuh benda So you're in the grocery store and touch something that someone else has touched what's the risk? Itulah salah satu sebab why microchip 
Hello, would you? We have the microchips implanted into their bodies. Oh, weird. Yeah, it's yeah. like a grain of rice. Yeah, a grain of rice. I can bet with you, okay, you guys. This will go slowly all over the world. I will not do that. Kau letak je benda dekat dalam kau. Macam tu pun macam dah ada salah kan, you guys? We think that the human body is a good start. The cases, you guys, are making hurry, making nai. A few weeks ago, you guys, masuk berita all over the world. Um, Donald Trump. He asked Russia. Dengan bini dia, uh, ada penyakit tu. This stunning news: the President of the United States now confirming to the world that he and the First Lady of the of the United States have both tested positive. President Trump just tweeted moments ago that he and the First Lady have tested positive for the. The president is suffering from a deadly virus. This feels like something we should be watching on an episode of Homeland. Kita tak dengar anything from Trump empat hari ke lima hari tahun macam tu. I came here, wasn't feeling so well. I feel much better now, and I'll be back. I think I'll be back soon. Not just in the U.S. I'm fighting for them all over the world. Tak sampai beberapa hari dia okay. Since we spoke last. The president has continued to improve. The president was doing well, with only mild symptoms, and his oxygen was in the high 90s. Aku faham dia presiden Amerika. Lepas tu dia akan always get the best care in the world. Laju sangat dia keluar hospital. is not right okay you guys thank you very much thank you you think you might be a super spreader mr president uh, so this is where things go cray cray after trump dah keluar daripada hospital dia nak nampak handsome engkau president kau kena nampak handsome lagi lagi if kau donald trump Engkau a multi-billionaire Engkau president of the United States Engkau kena nampak handsome Dah dapat ada punya moment semua Dah dah handsome dah Satu dunia dah macam Okay, he's back Dia buka dia kena topeng Lepas tu dia pergi masuk Dekat dalam bilik you guys Yang ada at least 50 orang Dia ni kenapa? Dia, dia ni uh, macam I don't understand Baru je keluar daripada hospital Disebabkan ni Lepas tu dia pergi masuk Dekat dalam a room full of people and then you pergi buka you punya mask don't know dia punya otak kat mana aku bukannya macam nak kurang ajar ke apa yes he is the the president of america semua kan you guys kau baru keluar hospital so you are not 100% lagi tau at least 34 people 34 connected to this president into the white house testing positive get the white house growing an internal memo obtained by ABC News revealing at least 34 people have now tested positive, up from 24. 34 orang from the White House. From that room, you guys, 34 orang, semua kena. As your president, because I feel great. Aku tak faham engkau ni kenapa sometimes. Because I feel great. Aku benda kepala kan, you guys. Aku dah tak tahu nak cakap macam mana. Masa dia dah return, okay, you guys. Masa dia dah return to the White House. Dia ada one video message untuk satu dunia. Especially for the American people. I went, I didn't feel so good better than 20 years ago. And the vaccines are coming momentarily. Dia kata dia rasa dia immune. And now I'm better and maybe I'm immune. I don't know. That means macam dia dah tak boleh kena itu ever again. Ada satu audio call, dia cuba nak say something but it's so hard untuk him to say. Or I think the first debate they And now I'm better. Yeah. Excuse me. On the first debate they oscillated the mic. Absentee is okay. Because absentee ballots <coughs> Excuse me. Absentee ballots. So they got to you guys. He's fine. He's immune now. Maybe I'm immune. I don't know. The past Trump dah keluar daripada hospital, you guys. He said he feels like he's Superman. I took it. I said I felt like Superman. The batu they got to. He feels fantastic. He feels like a hundred percent. All I know is I took something, whatever the hell it was. I felt good very quickly. 
I don't know what it was. And I said, let me at him. Ada satu gambar yang leaked all over the internet. One great thing about being president, if you're not feeling 100%, you have more doctors than you thought existed in the world. Orang kata benda lain. Orang kata benda lain. The, this photo came online. Aku tak tahu nak cakap macam mana. Um, mungkin it, ad, korang pun nampak benda tu kan? You guys pun nampak tu kan? Okay. Hmm. Apa tu? Aku, aku tak nak say something. Neuralink, which focuses on the goal of implanting chips into human brains and also connecting brains to computers. So Donald Trump, you guys, he said the vaccine is coming. I took it, I said, I felt like Superman. We have the vaccine, it's coming. And the vaccines are coming momentarily. It's coming from here, from here, apa bagai semua. Is this the opening vaccine? I felt like Superman. What is on Trump in the head? The president was doing well. Maybe I'm immune, I don't know. It will be by the end of the year, but I think it has a good chance. There are two companies, I think, within a matter of weeks, and it will be distributed very quickly. guys that's it for today okay you guys most of the time it don't make any sense at all it's all out there and is it real is it the truth kita will we will never know i don't think that we will ever find out kalau korang nak video yang macam ni lagi you guys please hit like on this video subscribe to the channel kalau korang belum subscribe you guys ring that bell you guys so you guys will know bila kita dah ada a brand new one on this channel ada yang meninggal baru-baru ni nobody like how kita punya world it is right now don't be selfish be safe and love each other okay you guys we don't know what the hell is gonna happen tomorrow love you all so much you guys assalamualaikum and i see you guys in a few days kalau korang nak vlog I will see you on me. Be safe.